Imagine this. Humanity disappears. No warning, no struggle. One day, we are simply gone. No cars on the highways, no voices in the streets, no planes in the skies, just silence. What happens to Earth when the dominant species suddenly vanishes? Let's travel through time, 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years after our disappearance, and witness the astonishing transformation of our planet. The First Days and Weeks In the first days, the world is eerily still. Power plants no longer burn coal, nuclear reactors shut down without human supervision, and the global web of electricity begins to collapse. Within hours, most cities plunge into darkness. Pets wander the streets confused. Supermarket shelves remain full, but food begins to rot. Without caretakers, domesticated animals struggle. Dogs form feral packs, cats return to their predatory instincts. Zoo animals either break free or perish within enclosures. The human made order begins to unravel. Ten years after humanity, a decade passes. Nature is already reclaiming the places we once ruled. Roads crack as weeds sprout through asphalt. Rats, deer, wolves, and foxes roam freely in the urban wilderness. Birds nest inside skyscrapers. With no maintenance, wooden houses collapse. Glass windows shatter under the pressure of wind and rain. In some places, wildfires sweep through abandoned suburbs, fueled by unchecked vegetation. In others, floods reshape neighborhoods. Without drainage systems cleared, cities like New York, Bangkok, and Amsterdam sink into water. Human absence is felt most in silence. The earth breathes again. Fifty years after humanity, by half a century, our grandest constructions begin to crumble. Steel rusts, bridges collapse into rivers, roofs give way, leaving only concrete skeletons. Nuclear power plants, without cooling systems, melt down, releasing radiation. Yet surprisingly, life adapts. Just as wildlife reclaimed Chernobyl after the 1986 disaster, animals thrive even in radioactive zones. Wolves, bears, and deer roam places once forbidden to them. Meanwhile, forests expand. Grasslands consume what were once suburbs. Insects and fungi work relentlessly to break down wood, plastics, and rubber. Humanity's footprint is fading faster than we might believe. One hundred years after humanity. A century after our disappearance, cities are nearly unrecognizable. The tallest skyscrapers, stripped of glass, stand as hollow towers of rust. Some collapse entirely. Concrete highways crumble into gravel trails. Entire downtowns vanish beneath forests. Wildlife flourishes. Elephants reclaim African savannas without poaching. Whales increase in number as oceans heal from centuries of overfishing. Wolves, bears, and big cats roam Europe and North America once more. Plastic, however, endures. Bottles, bags, and microplastics remain scattered across landscapes and oceans. While nature is resilient, the fingerprints of humanity are not so easily erased. Five hundred years after humanity, five centuries pass. What remains of our world? Most human structures have been consumed. Only a handful survive. Massive stone monuments like the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids of Giza, and Mount Rushmore. These stand as silent testaments to our existence. Yet even they show scars. Sandstorms erode the pyramids. Vegetation cracks through the Great Wall. Rushmore's faces, once sharp, are softened by centuries of wind and rain. Meanwhile, Earth is alive with diversity. Coral reefs expand in oceans freed from pollution. Forests dominate continents. Evolution takes unexpected paths. New hybrid species emerge as animals adapt to niches humans once filled. If an intelligent being were to arrive now, they would struggle to imagine that humans ever ruled this world. One thousand years after humanity. A thousand years have passed. Nearly all traces of our civilization are gone. 
wooden, steel, and glass structures exist only as dust beneath soil. Skyscraper cities are nothing more than green hills where roots bury ancient foundations. Only a few human relics endure, the pyramids, cave carvings, and perhaps fragments of spacecraft on the moon or Mars. On Earth itself, our story is little more than whispers in stone and plastic, buried deep in sediments. Yet life thrives. Earth has entered a new age of balance. Vast forests cover continents. Rivers run clean. The air is free of industrial haze. The climate, once scarred by greenhouse gases, stabilizes over centuries as nature slowly absorbs excess carbon. From the chaos of our absence, a new natural order is born. The Legacy of Humanity But one question lingers. What truly remains of us after 1,000 years? The answer lies not in our monuments, but in the subtle changes we forced upon Earth. Species we drove to extinction will never return. The DNA of domesticated animals carries our mark. And deep beneath the soil, a thin layer of plastic and radioactive isotopes will forever signal to future archaeologists, or perhaps alien explorers, that an advanced species once lived here. We are gone, but our shadow remains. So, 1,000 years after humanity's sudden disappearance, Earth has healed, reshaped, and moved on without us. The planet does not need us to survive, if anything, it thrives in our absence. This vision is not only science fiction. It is a mirror held to us today. Humanity may be powerful, but nature is patient. And long after we are gone, the earth will continue to spin, the forests will continue to grow, and life will continue to find a way. In the end, we are but a brief chapter in the vast story of our planet. The earth was here before us and it will remain long after we are gone.